Hello, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we will be looking into authorizing Dropbox as a deployment source for our Azure Web App uh, for deploying or publishing files using Dropbox. So it is one and the same like uh, to push the files or applications from dropbox to your azure web app and for this you need to authorize your uh, dropbox account with uh, microsoft azure so in my last video um, i have shown you the uh, the steps or the way to deploy an asp.net core mvc app uh, through dropbox but uh, I have skipped or I have as I've already authorized my Dropbox account uh, I was not in that video it was not uh, uh, being seen like how the authorization take place so uh, I have got many um, comments or feedbacks as to show the authorizing way uh, for the Dropbox and for that reason i decided to make an another video only having uh, this authorization step so uh, as you can see um, this is my dropbox account uh, that is windows app uh, and these are the folders you can see there is one folder named apps which has nothing inside it as of now and uh, uh, in the portal i have already created a web app named authorizing dropbox can see over here it has this default template so there is no files as of now uh, so let's open it up and uh, directly go to the deployment option so as we need to see the authorization process of Dropbox click on Dropbox and now the step comes or uh, it says for configure the required settings click on this and click on authorize so here uh, it will open up your uh, dropbox account a login page or a uh, page for allowing the access to windows azure okay so here you can see it is uh, uh, there is a window for saying like for having a permission so here uh, read it carefully it says windows azure would like to access its own folder apps azure so as of now we have only apps folder we don't have azure folder inside it so and uh, i have already logged into my dropbox account on web that's why directly this page got appeared or else there would be an uh, a page asking for username and password so let's click on allow Let's see how it goes it's collecting the information and see it created a folder name azure clearly says the app folder azure was created in your dropbox let's go and have a look great it's just now created an azure folder so it's uh see it says azure added you added azure okay so you can click on ok over here but uh, as now as of now it is being blank folder it just now created it just now got created right so um, let's copy this folder it's having a simple HTML file let's copy and paste it over here so it has a uh, simple uh, HTML file Great. okay uh, let's go back over here just close it once again click on deployment options uh, go to Dropbox now it has already authorized so it will list my name account name choose folder the reason it's showing authorizing Dropbox is because of this web app name so now it has listed that HTML folder just click on it and click on OK it will add up the Dropbox as a deployment source. Let's click on deployment option as it has only one file, it will not take much time. As 
is okay so it is done active go to app just refresh it let's see great so our file is uh, live now i'm going from dropbox so thanks for watching hope you have understood or if you have learned how the authorization works for dropbox uh, for adding it as deployment source into our Microsoft Azure web app Thanks for watching the video kindly subscribe to my channel like this video. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Happy Azure coding